In this video, we're going to talk about difficult venous access, and I'm going to go through a number of choices in a difficult venous cannulation patient, where you will have to vote which vein you would prefer for cannulation in this particular patient. Moreover, then, we're going to execute a cannulation, we'll demonstrate the technique of cannulation, and why and where you should choose the insertion point for your needle to prevent the vein from rolling. And finally, we're going to deal with the problem where the catheter is inserted into the vein, but it cannot be advanced due to the valve inside the vein. Okay, well, it's a typical IV. You can see hematoma for a previous attempt. And here we have a tourniquet being applied. So let's see the technique of finding a proper vein. And securing the IV access. We're looking for a straight vein that can take the catheter. So this is an option for sure. And this is an option as well, but a bit more trickier. So I'm going to bend this first which will allow me to lift the needle tip up. There we go. And here will be essential to enter the vein fast. Here we can see actually two veins make a contributory, which will probably make this spot here. And the vein travels higher up. So this will be my spot here. All right, so why did we choose this particular vein? Let's explain this. So there's a small vein, a contributory vein, that comes from the lateral side, and is the vein, a small vein again, that comes from the medial side. These two veins converge and give rise to a larger vein that we're trying to cannulate. And the fact that these two veins converge at the point where we're trying to insert the needle and access the vein, they stabilize that insertion point, preventing the vein from rolling off. That's a very important trick that you should always try to reproduce. Find the two veins that contribute blood to the larger veins that you want to cannulate and insert your needle exactly at that spot because that is the least likely spot that the vein will roll. I want to tense this. Here we go. Okay. So here we hit in the wall up here. So here's a common scenario. We have successfully inserted the catheter into the vein, but we cannot advance the catheter because the tip of the catheter appears to be hitting a valve somewhere up here. How do we troubleshoot this? Here we can see that there is a blood return from that particular vein, so we are inside, but it is a little uncomfortable and really not ideal to tape the catheter here instead of trying to insert it further. But again, every time we try to insert it, again, we hit an obstacle, which is the valve. <laughs> Okay. So what do we do now when the catheter tip is obstructed by a valve and we cannot advance it fully into the vein? Here's the strategy. Number one, we're going to release the tourniquet. Number two, we're going to take the needle out while obstructing the vein with our thumb or a finger so that we do not get too much of a backflow, it looks messy. And number three, we're going to connect the IV to the vein and run an IV effusion to open up the valve so we can advance the catheter deeper into the vein. Let's see this. Okay. We're sufficiently deep. Now we're going to open the IV and see once we initiate the flow if we can actually feed it. 
Okay. Great. There we go. And that was it. We just did three things educationally. Number one, we talked about the selection of the best vein in a difficult IV access. Number two, we discussed where and why you should insert your needle to get the least possibility of the vein rolling off. And number three, we just demonstrated how to troubleshoot an IV catheter that would not be inserted further due to the obstruction by the valve. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, make sure you subscribe and never miss the future ones. Until next time.